look how much copper I've got. All this from that block. All right, so it's ready to go. I put I place the pad over the top of this copper block. And hopefully all this air gonna just go through between this capacitors and those uh, coils. All right, so ready to go. I'm gonna place this over. We're gonna start and see if we can overclock this guy. I already attached the uh, XT60 connector here, soldered, so we'll be running on 12 volts. And I have these fan spoofers just right here, so instead of the fence, because I'm not gonna use the internal fence, and we'll see if it works. So let's give it a try. I'm gonna put the cover back on, and let's get it. All right, and here is the final product. This is how it looks from this side, from power side. Well, actually from Ethernet side. So you could see I have gaps between each, so the capacitor not touching that copper. And from the other side, it's just hopefully gonna blow the air through these holes to cool down the copper block and between each of these legs. So yeah, a little bit ugly looking, but it is copper block and it's between sandwich between those thermal pads. So hopefully those pads gonna work. Um, we'll see. Also, I'll attach this uh, shroud right here on this power side. So we're gonna squeeze in the power um, connector right through this hole right there and then I'm gonna tape it so the air doesn't blow and this is 5500 almost 6000 rpm fan will be controlled by a temperature sensor controller all right so let's get this through all right so I have ethernet connected here uh, I have the fan connected to my Fan controller, we need to just connect the fan. Temperature sensor just slides right there, really nicely. Right in the middle somewhere here of the miner. And it's running right now 4500 RPM. And let's connect the power connector right there uh, to our server PSU. Right, so looks like we are getting red and green and we are on stock firmware so I'm not worrying right now on the full blast of the fan but I want to make sure it gets started and then we can install the uh, overclocks and see how it works we'll try with the 618 uh, if it's holding up the heat then we'll try 700 GL most important is if the fan spoofer is gonna work or not. Uh, let's give it a minute and see if it's gonna start. So, everything connected, is or not connected. So let's see if it's gonna go and start blinking uh, the green button, green LED. see that uh, copper block right there from this Ethernet side you can see it completely squeezed between the MOSFETs and the uh, heat sink, the body of the heat sink right there hopefully will help. Oh right there, so we have the green blinking that means the fan spoofers work perfectly fine. There's a space you can see probably right there sure, so we have a little bit more light. Yeah, so we have about maybe uh, three to four millimeters between the fan and the uh, spoofers and the body here. So everything looks fine. Let's uh, start getting overclocks on this unit right there. And my KS3M is off right now because it's not profitable. So here you go. All right, guys. So we've been online 18 minutes. Looks like... Um, Temperature is pretty good for uh, board in, board out. Uh, what we're getting and the chip's temperature a little bit cooler that we need. So that's a different adjustment. So for this video, I really wanna see if we can achieve uh, 700. So we are at um, 
right now running at 618 obviously average right and uh, looks like i just ready to update to the next firmware so first uh, like always we have to stop here or close your ice river monitor tool and we're gonna go ahead and just go to firmware update and i'm gonna shoot for 700 gl so that's our goal for this miner and we'll see if this copper block with holes will even work now what i noticed uh is guys another thing that some of the miners won't take over 618 giga hash so i have to just stay 618 version uh, i don't go over that because on 700 uh, no matter what type of heat sinks i put no matter how much air i'm blowing through even on 6000 rpm and even the cooler temperatures ambient temperatures i've tried that and it still will not be stable it will shut off after several minutes and restart so basically i am just gonna put it down a little bit and i'm gonna leave this i have uh four of these miners so basically this running all on 721 gl so i'm getting average 741 715 717 and 720 now let's take a look on the pool what i've got for this ultras um let's see i need to log in again all right so let's go to the worker uh space the seven we just restarted so obviously it's not gonna show up here but let's take a look at eight nine ten and eleven so my average 24 hours is in the last column here i have 726 722 723 and even 747 average on that uh, last one look at the one hour 865 that's insane so i think these four were um uh, really in my experience they were lucky silicon but as well i haven't overheated them once so i started with the highest fan speed and then i adjusted lower to where it's gonna be comfortably uh, running on my temperatures what i'm worth looking is to get not higher than 60 uh 65 here on uh, a board in temperature right there so this goes higher i would uh, increase the fan speed so and um i think by doing that i kind of preserve those uh mosfets at the uh, running at the better rate because of one of them is was actually doing okay at 721 gl and then i overheated it uh, so after it started shutting down i was never able to go back to that clocks so just be careful do not uh, get your miner overheated and uh, once it starts overheating several times you may have slight damage to those uh, mosfets or to the possibly to the sensors in the mosfets i'm not sure what exactly they're causing that miner to restart even though you provide the cooling air super cool and you're uh putting the heat sinks and everything it doesn't it stops working but at 618 i was able to even reduce the fan speed uh lower uh to the uh basically i ran at 2000 rpm and it's fine at 618 so let's let's take a look if we are gonna go online with this guy uh so we should see 620 uh right there yeah 620 okay so let's wait and see if we get accepted share here and if we do we pretty much back uh, and i want to leave it for maybe half an hour be once i update again because we want to see our temperatures of the chips again and temperatures of the uh in i'll get probably a thermal uh, camera and we'll we'll just get that temperature reading inside the miner hopefully we could see something there as well so let's uh, i'll get back in about 30 minutes we'll see if it's going to be stable or it will start restarting on me uh for any reason because of we are okay having increasing temperatures already here on the uh on the board in so that's not a very good sign when the temperature keep on climbing it should be like stabilizing somewhere 
but uh, it's I don't like when it's fast going up, you know, when it's a little bit by every minute, but we'll see. All right, I'll let it run. Hopefully we'll get accepted share there soon and hopefully we'll stabilize somewhere around 60 degree. If not, then we may have no luck with this miner as well. Or that copper block may be not providing enough uh, heat absorp absorption on those uh, MOSFETs. So we'll see how it works. All right, we'll see in 30 minutes. Oh, quickly, and I forget to show you, I forgot to show you this fan spoofers working perfectly, showing the uh, fan, 1400 RPM on each fan, which is great. So there, it's not reporting any errors on the uh, miner. So our fans, uh, speed normal, miner temperature normal. So everything uh, reports here. As soon as we get the hash rate, we should be all in the green here. So that's our goal. All right, so that's what I was gonna, I forgot to show you that the fan Spoofers are actually uh, working, no problem. Showing the fan speed, 1400, 1430. All right, cool, so we'll see you in a little bit. Been mining for over 40 minutes now, so let's take a look. What do we have inside here? All right, so we have 71 degree on the highest uh, point, so it is a little bit hot, I think, but it's holding up pretty cool. Look at the block. Block is kind of, it's not that hot at all. It's about 40 degrees on the copper block. So really what's heating up there, guys, is something uh, right under, especially the upper, that upper MOSFET getting pretty much heat up over there. I don't know. There are better ways to cool it down. But uh, anyways, mining stable i did a little rub here with this uh no it's not a good idea with the plastic it just temporarily to see if i can increase temperature of the, the chips which it did uh, and probably need to get some kind of fire blanket some kind of insulation that designed for fire uh, fire rated that will increase the temperature of the heat sink and potentially the actual chips where all this air coming through it will cool down the MOSFETs hopefully so that's the idea anyways um, it's doing pretty good and we're running at uh, 50 400 uh, rpm here so yeah the temperature 47 over here on the sensor and 5400 rpm all right, so I am back here on my Ice River monitor tool. So this is my miner number seven that we just did this update. So it's running 672, not quite 700 yet. Uh, it's been 54 minutes. So hopefully uh, it will kind of stabilize the boarding showing 54, which is not that bad, but that 71 degree on the chip is a little bit kind of concerning. So we'll see how it's handling. Uh, and hopefully we'll get like this on 700 and look all other my uh, running at 640 clocks you know 629 639 716 728 all this 640 running over uh, 14 days 14 days 13 days this been restarted because i moved it seven days but it's all over two weeks been running on these clocks all of the four of them and these two, I just got them set up. So we'll uh, keep an eye on that um, new setup and then we'll check that heat sink. This one running on the regular heat sink, copper heat sink. And this one running on that copper block with the holes I just drilled. So we'll see how it's gonna handle it. And uh, just wanna try something different, something new. Anyways, guys, hope you like it. Uh, let me know, click the like button consider subscribing to my channel and we'll see you on the next one.